we'll see Jimmy Garoppolo and the San Francisco 49ers taking on Mac Jones and the New England Patriots. We're about 40 miles south of Candlestick Point as we welcome you inside Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. The scene a short time ago, this crowd, they love their 49ers, and they were in full roar as their guys burst out of the locker room. And we're ready for football as the 49ers get set to do battle with the New England Patriots. Robbie Gold's got it on the tee. He kicks it off, and here we go from Levi's Stadium. On the return is J.J. Taylor. And he won't quite make it to the 25. So now the Patriots getting set to take over on offense. They're led by their quarterback from the University of Alabama, Mac Jones. Mac Jones absolutely believed in himself coming out of high school. Went to Alabama despite the fact there are many high-profile quarterbacks already on the roster and blossomed into a Heisman Trophy candidate in his final season with 41 touchdowns and only four interceptions. Steady, consistent as a passer, doesn't have the biggest cannon for an arm, but can stretch the field and lay those passes in on the deep ball. Only a couple for him there on the game's first play, and it's second down. Throwing Jones. Now a leaping catch. He's got it. Good job there to locate his tight end, Charles, in the middle of the field. Yeah, he has good pass catching abilities, and if they're able to continue to find him here in the early going, I think it'll help out his teammates out on the perimeter. He can take the big shots later if he occupies their attention. There to stop him on the defensive side, Fred Warner. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it, and to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're going to dominate the line of scrimmage. Oh, well, not sure he saw the linebacker there, as that's batted down and incomplete. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. On the give, this is Harris. Short, maybe by about a yard, if that. Now, after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. Oh, a big decision here early. Look at this. They're going to go for it on their own side of the field. They'll try and run with a fullback, Johnson. And he will have the first down as he's brought down up near midfield. Surprised at all that they went with the fullback there? Not at all, because it harkened back to the days where we watched these games almost in black and white, right? The stocky guy, the strong guy, the powerful guy with leg drive. Give him the football, and even if the blocking isn't perfect, he has the ability to scatter bodies and move people enough to pick up first downs. That's what we just saw right there. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Working with a second and four. Now Jones. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over at that time, but it's going to lead to third down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. And he will have the Patriots first down, although it doesn't appear to be by much. He needed four, and he got four on third down. If you make the stop there, maybe you hold him to three on this opening drive. They didn't get the stop. Yeah, new set of downs now. Now you're worried about, just as you pointed out, not just giving up three, possibly giving up six. Let's see what they decide to do here because they've got to change up what they have been doing. It hasn't been working. Now Jones on first down. That's going to be 
caught. And he's brought down after a very nice game. And oftentimes we think about statement drives in the second halves of games, especially in the fourth quarter. But here, it's happening early. A definite statement. They've held on to the ball for a healthy portion this first quarter already. And now after that completion, they're set up first and goal. They go power. This is Johnson, the fullback. And he's over the line and into the end zone for a Patriot score. It's the fullback taking it in. And the Patriots drive right down the field and score on the opening drive. Extra point up and good by Folk. And that makes the score 7-0. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And it ends with a New England touchdown. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. The former second-round pick back in 2014, Jimmy Garoppolo trotting into place, looking to guide the San Francisco 49er offense. And Jimmy Garoppolo has shown that he can be a Super Bowl quarterback, but his biggest problem, his ability to stay healthy and remain on the field. When able, he's a capable quarterback prone to winning games both in the regular and postseason. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. Not much room here as he only gets it to about the 30. They follow up the gain of five by only getting one there on second down. From the gun on third, Garoppolo completes it to the tight end, Kittle. And he's going to come up a bit short. He needed to get to the 35 for the first, but he only makes it to the 34. A gain of four, not enough. And it looks like punt time on their opening drive as it's fourth down. Wisnowski on to punt as he sends this one away. And here's a fair catch taken at about the 24-yard line. 37 yards on the punt with no return. And the Patriots take over. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7-0 lead. Of course they would. I mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7-0 lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. On first and 10, Jones. He gets it complete to Harris. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Nice little nifty play for him there. Yeah, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backs out of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, hey, we get everybody cut. Oh, he just snuck out there, and they just got a nice first down there. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? And they were able to do that there. Nice pickup on first down. Harris going to get it again on second down. And he's got Ryan. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But also like what the runner's giving us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. Now a pass dropped off here for James White. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. 47 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. Well, they're making a real first quarter statement with a run game, no doubt. For those who remember old school football, running it, establishing things, seeing backs find holes, get through them, they've got to like what they're seeing from this unit so far. Right now, they've decided to, say, as you said, establish the run game, and they've been successful doing it. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. On 
on second down. It's Harris, and he'll get a little over two, maybe a full three down to the 32-yard line. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job standing in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. And this effort will not get it done. He stopped well short of the first down at the 29. Give him three yards there as that'll take us to fourth down. And Fultz's kick is good. And the lead moves to 10 zip. So a touchdown on their opening drive and three more here, and it adds to their first quarter lead. Yeah, everything's going according to plan so far because the offense has moved the ball, defense able to do their job, and here the special teams unit comes through with their contribution. A field goal to make it 10-zip. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. They'll look to get something started. They need to down 10 nothing early as they've got it first and 10. Meanwhile, Garoppolo's throw complete here to Ayuk. A good gain on first, has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. Now we're going to get a timeout here called by the Patriots. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. A good position to be in here, second and inches. Now a give right side. It's Mitchell, and he maybe makes it back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. I know what you're thinking out there. I know a lot of you are thinking, take a shot downfield. It's a great spot for it. I'd say maybe later in the game, definitely in the second half. But right now, I think they were just trying to get some momentum built. Get a first down, pick it up, and keep moving. Right back to him on first down. And he'll get this up to about the 40. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. Got a man, that's Ayu. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. You can almost hear the sigh of relief coming from their sideline and from their point on the field because this has been a tough start for them thus far. A much needed first down there. They needed something good to happen. Plays like that will continue to help them dig out of this hole. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. Really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. He'll dump that one off to Mitchell. And he'll get nothing out of that one. So back-to-back -back plays, each get nothing. And just like that, it's third down. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. Drops this underneath, it's Mitchell. Able to slither by. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. It looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. At that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? So from the 36 now, first and 10. From the gun, he'll hand this off, and he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun, and they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. And this is caught inside the five. And out of bounds, all the way down at the three. They're coming into this ball game. This was an offense that wasn't just talking about the notion of ball control. They were 
preaching it. They want to win the time of possession battle, and they've done so here. This drive's taken up quite a bit of the first quarter. Now they are set up first and goal. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll try to run this one in. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Well, I know defensive coordinator is going to be pretty excited about what he just saw there. Great knockback by their front. And now with the ball where it is, I would expect to see the offense throw the ball on second and third down here. And he's going to go down. Sacked right around the 17. A huge win defensively there on the sack, setting him back 12 yards. And now third and goal. They need to reverse the trend. The last two plays have gone backwards. Now it's third and goal. Garoppolo now. And this is going to be incomplete. Well, so a drive that spans all that time, and yet you may only come away with three points here. Well, your defense, all right, they actually like these long drives. They get to rest over on the sidelines for a while. But when you're not finishing with points in terms of touchdowns, that's frustrating. They've got to figure out how to close out these long drives and get sixes instead of threes. So no problems at all on that one. And, and you know there's virtually no win. This is a kicker's dream here tonight. It absolutely is, isn't it? So to me, with no win, it should be a passer's dream as well, yeah. right? But in this case, the defense held out. They had to force the field goal. The Pats at the line ready to go. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. Now a play fake here on first down. Flushed out right. It won't be a sack, but it's no gain, and it brings up second down. But there was pressure all around him, so the only play was to try and get out of there. I think it was an excellent effort by him just to get back to the line of scrimmage. And he will be brought down at about the 43 that time. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. to throw. Jones. A hit as he throws there incomplete. Well, they came up with points in their first two possessions, but looks like they'll come up empty here on their third drive. The defense finally starting to get locked into them a little bit. Might have to go a little bit deeper into their playbook on their next possession. Now, meanwhile, they go for it on fourth down, and my goodness, incomplete. Boy, a curious decision to go for it doesn't pan out, and the Niners take over in terrific field position. On first down, it's Mitchell, and he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? Now Garoppolo. To the right side, it's caught by Mitchell. Room here to run. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. And he's 
going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Kyle Duggar up to make the tackle. On second down now, it's Mitchell. He'll get this down inside the 10 for a pickup of about three. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. The Niners on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and seven. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. And Gold is able to put it through. And that'll bring him back within four. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. This fielded right at the goal line. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. Damian Harris of the Patriot offense ready to take over again. And it may just be the second quarter, but he's in his zone well on his way to eclipsing that 100-yard mark. And when a back has a game, as we're witnessing right now, his name's going to be in the books. But it's really a collective deal, isn't it? Because that the means line. he's getting plenty of blocking. A lot of help from his teammates, but he's making the most of it. Yeah, he's made the most of it to this point. Early on, the running game's been working well. The offensive line has been pleased by that. The thought process there, catch those safeties creeping up, trying to help against the running game. They tried to hit him over the top unsuccessfully. He's going to take another shot here. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. So a costly penalty yardage-wise as that'll move the football down to the spot of the foul. And what the officials are looking for in these situations, whether you're playing the man or the ball, and if you're playing the man, you get a lot less leeway in terms of what's going to happen at the end of the play. But if you're looking for the football, it's less likely to draw the flag. Coming up on second and seven. Looking to throw. Jones. And a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete. When I watched that play, I thought about what my coaches had told me in the past. The biggest teaching point, get your head around. Locate the football so you can make a play on it while it's in the air. That's exactly what he did there. That was nice. Jones to throw on third down. A 50-50 ball here, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 21. And the return stops at the 39-yard line. That pick hurts a little extra because it was third down. You were already in field goal range. You know what he's going to hear all night, all next week? Situational football. Understand what's going on because you expressed it perfectly. Three points were in their hip pocket. They had those. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw, and down he goes. The 49ers get there. That is Nick Bosa from out on the edge who worked his way in for the sack. If you want a lesson on how to defeat an offensive tackle, that was pretty textbook. Is that a clip and save? Yes. That, that's what's going to go around the league, and people are going to watch that and say, my goodness, that's how you do it. And I feel awful for the offensive tackle because we always talk about the athleticism of that guy who just beat him. Well, you have to be athletic to try and block that guy. Just in this case, the defense won. Airing it out deep for Smith. And that ball...
incomplete. He couldn't work free from his defender, and now it's third down. New England on third down. Just one for five to this point. This will be third and 15. He completes it to Henry. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds him for the first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now Stidham. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Normally you think the tight end's going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact. But in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well. Incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Again, Stidham. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. And a lot of being a defender is being able to learn what you can and can't get away with when in man coverage. In this case, he got away with it. It helped pop that ball free. He'll rifle this one deep right side. Oh, a contested ball here, and it's going to be caught. A big play there for New England. Well, make that now two completions for him on this drive, and these aren't ordinary completions. They're big ones. Yeah, these are the types that make a secondary talk to each other and not in a good way, oftentimes pointing fingers. Hey, who's got him? Someone cover him. That type of indecision can open up to even more big plays. Now a first down carry for Harris. The excellent play last time is followed by a much more routine gain of three. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Now it's Stidham. His throw caught right around the six. And the Patriots are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Harris. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. Again, it's Harris. And he is in. Touchdown, New England. Damian Harris. Excellent work there to get in on the touchdown run. And the Patriots add six to their lead. Now Folk for the extra point. It's good, and now it's an 11-point lead, 17-6. to six. A 10-play drive that time. And it was Damian Harris who finished things off with a touchdown run. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. And San Francisco gets set to go here. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before and realize it hasn't worked Go to so something well. else. And maybe try and find one of those special plays for one of your better players and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. On second down, it's Mitchell. And he is met at the line of scrimmage and he goes down right there. Officially nothing on that one, no gain, so they're left with still 10 to go on third down. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. And that is incomplete. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of, you nailed it pretty well, you know. <laughs> He's got to throw it better.
Got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They've got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. And just a net of 31 here. 40-yard punt, nine on the return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Stidham going to lead the Pats up first and 10 at the 40. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And the Niners get there and bring him down. Nick Bosa able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. But when you see a quarterback retreating away from the line of scrimmage toward the other goal line like that, usually doesn't end well. You're exactly right about that. Normally, if they're moving from side to side, they've got a chance maybe to get back upfield. He was trying to shake defenders and extend the play, but it doesn't work out very well for them at all. You need those extra yards on the other side of the line of scrimmage. Now you're digging a hole for your offense. New England on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. This is third down and 12. Complete. It's Henry. Yeah, he needed to get to the midfield stripe, but he can't do it. He's about a yard short. They'll get 11, but still a little short. Fourth down. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. Meeting the tough yards, they run it with their fullback. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. I don't care what he's listed in the program. Fullback, running back, tailback, it doesn't matter. He ran that play like a fullback. Just like the old days when we saw the fullback dive. How about him picking that one up? Only needed a yard on fourth down. That's what he's there for, right? Exactly. Line him up, short yardage situation, and say, here it is, big man. Go get it. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. Well, that was man coverage. So once he decides to run with the football, there's no one to account for him, and he turns it into a nice game. So first and 10 now from the 30. Stidham from the shotgun. It's complete. James White. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. On second down, this is Harris. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Stidham first down in the red zone. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. It looked like they had something there, but I think that he was thinking about running with the football before he actually hauled it in, and that led to a big drop. On second down now, it's Harris. And he'll wind up picking up about four as that is going to bring us to the two-minute warning. Third down, here's Harris. And he is going to be stopped at 12, short of the first down. Now a timeout called for by the defense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. there and they continue to build this first half lead yeah every little bit helps and the more that you can put together drives and start controlling the tempo controlling possession finishing with points the better off you're gonna be 
And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result, but he opted for the touchback. Debo Samuel and the 49ers back in possession here. They've got to find a way to get him more involved in this game plan. Down here in the second quarter, he doesn't even have a catch. And don't think they're not hearing about it in the huddle and on the sidelines. And we often think of wide receivers at times being disruptive. It's just that they know their talents and they know the type of plays they can make and they can make big ones. They want the ball to help their team. Yeah, you got to think he's going to want the ball more. One target, no catches. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. Dietrich Wise Jr. What a play by him. That's going to go as a loss of 13. Open man is Samuel complete. And it's a fumble. And the Patriots have it. A lot of talk this week about ball security. In fact, they added an extra period in practice to be more secure with the ball. It didn't work out there. Well, sometimes you just get overexcited during the game. You may all of a sudden make your catch, see some open field, and decide you're going for it and not realizing that danger lurks while you're doing so. And there's your end result right there. They'll run on first down. Harris. And if there was a lane there, it closed up quickly as he stopped for no gain. Second down. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Now it's Stidham. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. They hand this off to Harris, and he's going to get this to about the 20, but that is well short of what he needed. Call it a gain of five, fourth down now. So they won't get a touchdown, but here's a chance to at least get three to end the first half. This will be a 37-yard attempt. And Folk's kick is good, and that will do it for this first half. So at halftime, it's the Patriots with the advantage as we send you cross country to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports halftime report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to an abbreviated version of the EA Sports halftime report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much, and welcome, everyone, to this abridged version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one is maybe not exactly in the bag yet, but there is definitely a big mountain to climb in this third quarter. The teams are already back out there, so let's not waste any time. We'll turn it back over to Brandon God. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. So here we go for half number two, the Patriots win. here as the second half starts with a touchback. The 49er offense set to go to begin quarter number three. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. And that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart, fast, efficient, get the ball to the end zone, and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. There's Garoppolo to throw. Blitz coming and down he goes. Dante Hightower coming in for the sack from his linebacker spot. Well, he shot in, CD, like he was out of a cannon from that linebacker position. And even though they had a running back in the backfield, no one could stop him. Well, you certainly diagnosed that play perfectly because as fast as he got into the backfield, you're exactly right. The running back had no shot to get over and try to protect his quarterback, and a sack resulted. They lose two on that last play, so things get even tougher. Third and long coming up. To throw is Garoppolo. Trying for Ayuk, but it's intercepted. Picked off by J.C. Jackson. And a return will stop right around the 
the 25. The first half did not go their way, and that's not going to help matters at all. An interception here on the opening drive of the third quarter. Obviously not what they were striving to accomplish, but you know who's really upset on their team? The defense. Already trailing. They're going to be counted on to try and hold that score at least where it is. After the interception, here's Stidham. And he whips that one incomplete there. I think we can all understand what they're thinking right now. They take over the ball and field goal range after the turnover, so they've got that in their hip pocket. But they've got to go for the end zone and turn this into a bigger point. Their thinking is a touchdown is really what they should get from starting here. Getting three points at the end of this drive, that would feel disappointing. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. 87 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Harris. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Now Stidham, off play action. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. Aziz al -Shir came in there hard on the blitz and got him down nine yards behind the line of scrimmage. Well, surprise, surprise. First and goal at the one. No quarterback sneak. No running play. They decided to throw it for it, but the pressure got to him quickly and put the quarterback down. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? There's Henry. Touchdown, Patriots. Ten yards on the touchdown pass. And the Patriots, they add on to their lead. No surprise there. Third and goal down here. That's where they're going to look for their tight end. Yeah, you want that big guy running his routes because it doesn't matter who they cover him with. If it's another big guy, he might use his bulk against him. If it's a shorter defender, might go over the top. Either way, you tend to find a little bit of a mismatch in that area. Full connects on the extra point, and the lead is now 24. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. And the 49ers getting set to trot out there. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack him here. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. On second down, it's Mitchell. And yeah, he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. He was trying to clear the way, the big fullback. Instead, he gets a hole. You don't see that very often on running plays from those guys because usually they're the lead blocker. Normally, when he gets caught, it's in a passing situation. Throwing now is Garoppolo. And that's incomplete. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. And yet again, it's Garoppolo. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. 
I know he wants to get his team back in the game, but a 50-50 ball right there that maybe was a little questionable. Yeah, he's pretty lucky to get that one back. I think that sometimes these quarterbacks play with a lot of confidence that borders on arrogance, and that can put your team in some dutch. Yeah, especially maybe want to look at some safer routes after the interception he had that ended their last drive. 36 yards on the punt with no return, and possession will switch hands first and 10. New England's offense set to go. And that last touchdown drive they had very balanced. How key is that balance? It's huge because most of the time when we talk about balance is run, pass, almost 50-50. But most of the times when you talk to offensive coaches, they say balance is we do what we want when we want to. And that means that they're ahead of the defense, keeping them on their heels. Yeah, they imposed their will on that last drive. On first down, it's Harris. And he'll work this forward for about three. It's second down. We know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Oftentimes when you're losing a game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by the safety, Jarquiski Tart. And they'll set up shop in enemy territory at the 45-yard line. They turn to Harris to begin the drive. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. That first down play, all you want to do is wedge out any type of space and try and create enough room. If you have to run the punter out there, he can successfully complete the punt. Yeah, didn't get a ton there, but at least some positive yardage. Stidham's throw complete there to Smith. And they'll get him down up past the 15-yard line. That's another beautiful throw right there. It gets it to his man right in stride. And I think that throw kind of exemplifies what we've seen from this offense throughout this game. They've been in rhythm. They've been sharp. They've been on it. And they pick up another first down there. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Stidham's throw there, taken in by Smith. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? A lot of it's been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. On first and ten, it's Stidham. It's caught by Aguilar. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. On second down now, it's Harris. The broken tackle, but couldn't create much space. Down just beyond the 35. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. Having met a football team yet that runs the ball successfully, that doesn't talk about having an attitude to be a running football team, right? You gotta be able to put your nose in there, smell where the first down sticks are, and get there. Inside four minutes to go, third quarter. Stidham sets to throw on first. That's gonna be caught. It's Jacoby Myers. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before.
before being dropped inside the 40. This is just more of the same. This defense has had no answer on a lot of these throws. They've let these receivers run wild. And here's another completion for good yardage. They'll run on first down. Harris. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game. Trying to establish the inside run. Run with toughness now. Hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Third and inches, and they've got some extra beef up front. Three tight ends. Now a run with a fullback, Johnson. And he gets the first down here as he's taken down at the 24. Third and inches, they just hand it to the big battering ram there. That's, I mean, that's football 101, isn't it? That's bread and butter. Turn around, hand it to the big fella, and let him get forward for a first down. Now they'll throw it with Stidham. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. On second down, it's Harris. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. They're a pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves and start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. They run again with Harris. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. It's a gain of five, and now the question, will the offense stay out there on fourth and one? And Folk's kick is good. And that'll push the lead from 24 up to 27. So tack on three more, though this, it's just a rare drive where they did not find the end zone. Yeah, you're right about that, partner. But at this point, I don't think you're too concerned about that. You just want to possess the football for a while and drain the clock. If you can get three out of it, that's great, too. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm. A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline, puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. From the 27, Garoppolo. This one complete to Mohamed Sanu. 20. Touchdown, 49ers. Mohamed Sanu, 73 yards. And the 49ers are able to get a score back in the final stages of this third quarter. Well, if they're going to make a game of this in the second half, they need a few big plays to go their way. That's one. And the way to get it done is to also conserve time. So to your point, that big play right there, now you're not moving the ball downfield, taking time off the clock. You're leaving yourself a better avenue to continue to try and make a comeback. So the extra point good, and the roughing call going to move the ball out to the 50 for the kickoff. And I think this is a good chance to pin them deep if you can land the kickoff inside the five-yard line or so. Gain some field position for your defense. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Stidham going to lead the Pats up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Completes it to Aguilar. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports.
One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. They'll try the right side with Harris. And he'll push this forward only to about the 42-yard line. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. It, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And that'll set them back five. Stidham. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. They go play action now. Stidham, he'll rifle this one deep right side. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. But they're going to wrap him up as he'll go down well short of a first. The Patriots come up empty on fourth down. And the Niners take over in terrific field position. On first down, Garoppolo. And his throw is going to be incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Garoppolo. This one caught by Kittle. Touchdown, 49ers! George Kittle, 46 yards. And the Niners have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. Gold with the extra point, and that cuts this lead down to 13. The long touchdown pass gets him six on a very, very tidy two-play drive that time. Taylor now from the end zone. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. What was once a really comfortable lead is not so comfortable anymore. Down to a two-score game after they've seen a pair of touchdowns go against them on those last two drives. Yeah, they've got to find a way to get off of autopilot right now, okay? Get back to what was working for them earlier. Understand that they still have a two-score lead, so it's not dire, but at the same time, okay, guys, let's match the gas. Let's get going again. Let's have some fun. Now he dumps this off over the middle. The result, only four yards there on the play. And that's going to bring up a third down. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back, and it can turn into a big gain downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short gain. 49ers have an extra defensive back on the field. A nickel set for third down. To throw is Stidham. And he's going to drop this down to Harris, middle of the field. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? Oh, so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. 135 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's going on. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Softer three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line, tackled there. 
And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely. You want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Starting to become a tough spot for this defense. You're down fourth quarter, looking a little fatigued maybe on that side of the ball. Partner, we've seen this before, haven't we? Because every coach we've ever talked to says body language is important. And now you're seeing guys with their hands on their hips, they're bent over, hands on their knees. And the offensive guys are just saying, let's just keep running it out. We've got them now. Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time. Separation, that's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. And he'll be taken down at the 34. Give him a couple on the run as it brings up the fourth down. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy is nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. And folks, kick is good. And that will swell the lead to 16. So all things considered, uh, that's not the final nail, but it does make things exceedingly difficult now on the other side. Yeah, because obviously now for the 16-point game, the other guys don't need just two touchdowns. They need a couple of two-point conversions as well. Plus, they'll need either a turnover or an onside kick in there somewhere. So you're just adding to the list of things that need to happen in sequence. And it's going to be a pretty tall order this late in the game. San Francisco set to go on offense once more. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Throwing again on second down. Garoppolo. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field. Play. They say it's in. <laughs> On first down, Stidham. And caught by Henry. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. And now they're in the hurry up. On first down, Harris. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. A big play there for the Patriots. Uh, big plays back and forth just continue. Both offenses excelling. And I hear the excitement in your voice while you're calling this game. This hurts my soul as a defensive player watching these teams go up and down the field and put points on the Do me a favor the rest of the way. Sit back, relax, and just appreciate the offensive dominance that's going on out here. I'll give it a shot. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. They'll keep it on the ground. Harris again. And he's going to work this one down to about the five. 149 yards rushing for him now as his big night continues. On third down, it's Harris. And he's over the line and into the end zone for a Patriot score. Damian Harris, his second touchdown of the night and the Patriots add on to their lead so it was the passing game that got him down here but closer to the goal line it's the running game that gets him home certainly appears that they lulled the defense into thinking that the passing game was going to be it the entire drive nice change up there going to the running game to get him over the goal line and up two scores late no clue why you do this here but they're going to go for the onside kick Patriots going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. 
Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. Taking it about the one. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. The 49ers ready to set up shop again offensively. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident up to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense. It's not good. Stidham's going to set up to throw this. Complete Hunter Henry with the grab. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Stidham. Got the connection here to Bourne. Takes this to the 32, maybe the 31. And then the defense rallying quickly after that broken tackle. Working with a second and three. They'll run. Here's Harris. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. This should be the final piece to the puzzle as Stidham goes down to a knee. Timeout comes in. The whistles blow with three seconds remaining. Oh, now look at this. They're lining up to add three more. A little insult to injury here late in the game. This to make it a three-score game late. And the 13-year man puts it through. And that will make this now an 18-point ball game. Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, 